Hello, this is Chris McDougall, director of the Lurie Center for Autism. Today I'm going to give you a summary of a scientific paper our group recently published. This paper was published in a journal called Psychopharmacology, and the lead author is Robin Tom, T-H-O-M, who's a child psychiatry resident here at uh, Mass General. This paper reviews evidence that's in the scientific literature that there's a relationship between immune dysfunction and autism, at least in a subgroup of patients. It then goes on to talk about medical problems that can occur in people with autism that are related to immune dysfunction and inflammation. If we start at the head and go to the toe, there are a number of things that should be looked for. Certainly seizures can be related to an inflammatory process. Recurrent ear infections and the need for ear tubes is quite common in young children with autism. The need for uh, tonsillectomy and recurrent strep throat is not uncommon. Many individuals with autism have asthma. Lots of them have gastrointestinal problems related to inflammation like gastrointestinal reflux disease, like Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, inflammatory bowel disease. A neurohormone called oxytocin it may be underactive in autism. Oxytocin has some anti-inflammatory properties, and it's also important in helping bones to mineralize adequately. We know that lots of adolescent males with autism have impaired bone mineralization and are vulnerable to fracture. So this is a very nice article summarizing medical problems that you should encourage your physician and other providers to look for from head to toe in people with autism across the lifespan. Thank you very much.